Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Business Spotlight. I'm Scott McMeans with Action Coach. I am here today with Darren Douglas with Tergo. Really cool business, really cool opportunity to change the way people see the fuel industry. So what I want to do is turn the microphone and the camera over to Darren and let him introduce himself and tell a little bit of his story before we get into some questions. So Darren, introduce yourself, my friend. Hey, thanks for having me, Scott. And it's good to meet you and talk to everyone listening. Uh, my name is Darren Douglas. I founded uh, the business called Tergo LLC, and it's super simple. I deliver fuel directly to your gas, to directly to your vehicles, so you don't have to go to the gas station anymore. Um, this business was founded this year in February. Um, it came <laughs> from idea last summer. So it's uh, super new, super unique, and uh, I'm excited to serve Cleveland um, with this unique service. That's outstanding. I love the idea that it's changing the way people think about getting their fuel for their vehicles. So I'm sure there's a lot of people that have a ton of questions like, oh, my God, how, do you, how big is your truck? <laughs> how fast can you get here? How many gallons am I allowed to get? All those things. They're semantics, right? But we'll talk, you can learn about that at a different time. What we're here to talk about, Darren, is how did you come up with the idea? How did you implement all the things necessary to get to where you are right now? Because a business that is less than 12 months old doesn't see success the way you have. So I'm curious to let the people learn a little bit about how you went about doing this. A unique idea put into motion. So please, uh, what's happening out there? Yeah, so um, from, uh, I call it like the conception of the idea. Um, it came to me last summer and I, I couldn't shake it. Um, I started my entrepreneurial journey in 2020 um, when I realized uh, corporate, ma being a corporate manager, I was a corporate manager for about uh, 14, 15 years at the time with uh, two different companies. Um, one of them you may have heard of called Amazon. Um, they deliver everything but fuel. How about that? <laughs> so um, that kind of uh, that kind of sparked my idea. And um, and this idea just stuck with me and I, I couldn't shake it. So at the beginning, it was uh, the beginning of summer 2023, I started to um, just kind of figure out like, OK, how am I going to do it? Um, and what what I want to I'm also a, a coach at heart. Um, I did. I had a relationship coaching business, a divorce and relationship coaching business. So I also um, want to share like the story behind it and how if you have an idea that sticks with you like I did, um, that idea turns into its physical form as, as long as you pursue it. Um, so I, I became obsessed with this idea. Um, how am I going to do this idea? And I started talking about it. And I think that's the first step. Like, I, hey, everyone, mm -hmm. I have an idea. Um, and, and putting that idea out there in the world uh, gave me a lot of feedback. For example, I didn't have a, a pickup truck. I was actually running uh, two other entrepreneurial businesses at the time, so I didn't have the money to buy a pickup truck. I didn't have the money to buy equipment. So my original idea was I'm going to take your car to the gas station for you, um, which I knew would take a lot of time, um, but it was a good start. And I got a lot of feedback by just mentioning that to people that I realized I need to do that. I need to bring the fuel to the car. It'd be more efficient yeah. for the client. It'd be more efficient for my business. Um, it'd be, uh, much more effective overall. So how am I going to get a truck? Um, that was my first, uh, that was my first challenge. And, uh, and, and about the same time as I'm looking for uh, a way to get out of the corporate world, I had a, a small, um, stock options bonus cashing out in December. And that's what I did with it. So I cashed out my stock options with Amazon for my last signing bonus after four years. And, um, invested into my business. Um, after the research, how am I going to move the fuel? How, and not just the semantics, like we talked about, because I mean, people always ask me these questions, how much fuel do you carry? Like, how quick can you be there? Don't worry about it. Like, I just feel you're going to walk to your car and it's going to be a full tank and it's going to make you feel so happy. But, um, which tanks do I need to buy? Um, which equipment do I need to upgrade in order to get there? And I had a lot of roadblocks uh, this year. I had uh, uh, my first, uh, I, I went through 
two trucks already. So there was a period in this business where I didn't even have um, trucks to serve people. But that was, you're going to read, and, and I didn't know these roadblocks would exist. And if you start thinking about roadblocks, actually, you know, my six-year-old son inspires me that he he does things with no fear. He just acts. So <laughs> if, this, if you have this childlike mindset, um, and my, and you, 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 you're blessed to also have the wisdom um, that you have no matter what your age. But if you, if you attack it with a childlike mindset with no, no fear initially, I mean, you're going to have some fear and you're going to um, be, because you're going to make up all these challenges in your head, um, which may not come true. And some other challenges may hit you. So just do it mm -hmm. and, and learn from those challenges. So I couldn't imagine the challenges that I went through over the past 12 months. And here we are kicking. I have uh, an executive team, uh, an investment strategy, and a financial outlook that's very hopeful. Um, but none of that would have happened over the six months if I hadn't um, basically turned that seed of an idea into its physical form and just kept going and running with it. Love that. The idea of, I, I don't want to steal anybody's intellectual property, but just do it is a very simple, straightforward way of looking at how to get your business off the ground. I love the idea that you say, I talk to a number of people about my idea and I got different feedback. I got different ideas about what I wanted to do and how it would actually play out in the marketplace. And then because of your manifestation, here you are. How many months later, you're talking about an amazing business opportunity that you have investors, you have a strategy, you have everything put in place to, all right, now we're going to grow. So what is the value proposition for Turgo? Explain it to the audience so they get a full breadth understanding of, all right, if I were to engage with Darren and have him show up at my house or my place of business, whatever, what's that look like? Um, you mentioned all the energy that we waste thinking about getting gas, then going to get gas. Um, so there's a time, there's an energy aspect to it. Um, where do I get gas? Uh, that line's too long. I'm going to drive an extra couple blocks and get gas here. Um, I think eliminating all of that and waking up to a full tank of gas is an incentive enough. Because if you ever think about it, if you get into your car or if you're, a lot of husbands fuel their, their wives' cars. Um, so wives, if you're listening, um, when you get into your car with a full tank of gas, there's a feeling to it. Um, that's, that's the value. Like you have a feeling, um, of full potential. I call it it's, you have the full potential to go about your day or your weekend without having to worry about, uh, where do I get gas? When do I get gas? I'll get gas in the morning. Um, I don't want to get gas with my kids in the car, those sorts of things. Um, so just actually waking up and I've got this feedback from clients waking up with a full tank of gas is value enough. Um, it's That's just so, not, <laughs> not having to, or leaving work on a Friday when you drove to work on E and you're leaving full not having to go to the gas station after five days worth of work, 50 hours a week, you can go right home or go right to your dinner with your spouse or go right to your kid's event. Um, it's invaluable. And it's exciting for me uh, because I love uh, I love charging people up, if you will. Um, I love gassing people up. It's a part of my personality um, is to find um positive attributes about for everyone and and really amplify them by i call it gassing people up so that was something i did in my whole life and now i'm physically gassing people up or charging you, you literally are, are gassing them up so right. give us a brief explanation of how this works i'm assuming you set up accounts i'm assuming you have a schedule or a route like walk us through so people have a a good understanding of or when i when i do this this is what's going to happen and how it actually goes down. Yeah, our uh, web-based app just launched um, last week. So when you um, go to the website and click subscribe, you enter your cars, you, um, you, you schedule a preferred day. Typically speaking, um, 
you only fuel once a week. That's the average client is fueling once a week. Um, but if you need more, we work out a schedule that works best for you. So you pick your day you want fuel. Um, today's Friday we're talking, so you can pick Friday and I'll be there this afternoon. You get gas. The first one's $10 off. Um, it's a, it's a 10 day free trial. Um, so you can probably get two tanks of gas without any service charge. The first one's $10 off. Um, and after that 10 day free trial, um, you get a subscription and the subscription is $59 a month for a two car household. So you and your partner, um, are also on the plan. So you enter your vehicles when you're signing up, you pick your day and then I show up same time each week. If you, um, need some more gas, if you're going on a road trip, a weekend road trip, you text, you text me and I show up on a Friday. If you're, if your day is Tuesday, I'll show up on a Friday, make sure you have enough gas for your road trip. And then I'll come back the next week at the same time. Um, it's that simple. <laughs> I don't I, no, I can't explain it any. Great. So uh, what if my car has a gas, uh, tank that has to be open from the inside of the car. Is that something you can work around? How's that work? Yeah, that's the problem. Um, you have two options. Um, so when you, you choose a day, so let's say, uh, you choose today's Friday, you choose Saturday. Uh, I'll text you a Friday evening to confirm your appointment. Um, let's say your appointment is between 10 AM and 11 AM Saturday morning. I will, uh, shoot you a reminder about eight 30, 9 AM, um, before uh, I arrived to your car and you get my location. So you see where I'm coming. Um, and if, and here's where you get to choose. So if you're going into a meeting or, or if you're working all day and can't get to your car, um, all I ask is that you pop your gas cap when you're walking away from the car and just lock your car. No problem. Or for those people that are watching my location and see me arrive, they can, and they have an app on their phone or their key fob is close enough to the car where they can unlock it for me. They know when to unlock it. Um, so th those are your two options. Either one works for you. That's awesome. And it sounds like yeah. one of the challenges that you had is easily reconciled through proper communication. That is from you telling them via text, we're, we're going to be there tomorrow, telling them, all right, I'm coming in an hour. And then they see where you are. So communication is a big part of your business, whether uh, people recognize that or not. But I think that's a big component to the security and the likability of doing business with you is I get communicated with and I know exactly what's going on. So for that $59 uh, service charge, that is for your service to come out for the entire month. That's right. For yeah. Okay, so doing the math, okay, once a week, all right, it's, it's 12 bucks a week to have somebody come take care of your gas for you. So you don't have to deal with that. And if I remember right, you carry both 87 and a higher octane fuel. Is that correct? 87 and 93. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. So if somebody's got that high performance Corvette, they don't want uh, 83, they want that 90 or 87, they want that 93. You have that available as well. That's right. Yep. That's really cool. So all these things put into, into play for you. What's the biggest challenge you had to overcome getting this thing off the ground? Uh, overcoming obscurity. Uh, people don't know about me. People don't know this service exists. When people search for gas stations, they're searching for gas stations. They're not searching for gas delivery. Um, so marketing and just telling people about it, every, everywhere I go, I'm telling people about it. I introduce myself uh, as the gas guy. Um, <laughs> the overcoming obscurity on a business like this is the biggest challenge. Um, and through marketing techniques and social media, mailers and word of mouth, uh, we're going to overcome that obscurity and talking to you, it. it helps. I love it. No, that's the whole purpose. Of what we're trying to do on the business spotlight is give people an opportunity to, to showcase their business. Absolutely. But have people learn from the experiences that those on the program get a chance to tell and you're saying okay you're obscure <laughs> people don't know who you are but marketing is going to be the solution and i fully agree with that so where can people find you uh so tergofuel.com is our website it's t-e-r-g-o-f-u-e-l.com um i have a uh 
pretty well known Instagram following at Tergo Valet Fuel Service. And um, Google us, we're on there too. It's T E R O, Tergo LLC. Um, but tergofuel.com is where you can get all the information. And if you want, actually, my Instagram account's on there for some fun reels. I love uh, doing social media reels and it's just fun for me. So I post often on there too. Um, I also started uh, an email blog. So uh, if you'd oh, like, uh, if you'd like to participate and learn a little bit about um, how Tergo works and my personal, like I just, I'm telling a personal story today about how I, uh, my kids in the car, um, we took away screens and we bonded like o- over like one car ride. Um, so if you want like tips for parenting or just tips for, <laughs> I love it or tips for anything uh i started an email blog as well that's pretty fun i love it all that information will be in the description down below when this gets released so people get a chance to see all the ways they they can connect with you darren i I love the idea of that what advice do you think would be the best advice you can give somebody as they're starting out their own new business don't stop there are going to be barriers and walls and um, just things that are going to make you want to quit. Uh, And those are the periods you got to take a deep breath and keep going. Um, What I've found is I've, I've, I started several businesses since 2020 um, and all but one business has fallen off. I, I had a car rental business that went bankrupt Uh, I had a coaching business that I had to quit because it was draining my energy. Um, I went into network marketing that wasn't making any money after a year. This Mm. bit for me um, is hard, as difficult as the challenges were, things just kept moving forward. And when you can find, and it's, it's, it's because I kept going, but because I kept going and because I kept talking about it and it, and as uh, as time moved on and as things happened, m- new things showed up, new things that showed up to help me to succeed. Um, new tools arrived, new people arrived in my life um, to help me grow the business. So as long as you don't stop, you're going to be successful. Like there is no, there really is no failure. We have, and we're blessed with, an unlimited amount of energy when you wake up you wake up each day with all that with an unlimited amount of energy just to keep going um nothing else your car can't say that because it needs gas Um, (laughs) but as human beings use that as a gift um you have an unlimited potential to keep going so if if an idea like mine hits you and you can't shake it there's your calling and talk about it. Um, You can't do it alone. So keep going and talking about it. Keep talking about it. Keep talking about it. And you will meet the right people. You'll um, acquire the right tools um, and you'll gain a lot more momentum as time moves forward. When you just keep going a little bit each day. I love that. So not that I want to bring up any bad stuff. I'm curious because you mentioned multiple businesses that you've started and you kind of exited them for a variety of reasons, right? But you still are a serial entrepreneur. Why? Um, <laughs> right? and I, I, you, you gave a really good explanation as far as, you know, we have put unpotential energy and it, it's, it's solid. But I'm, I'm guaranteeing whoever's watching this is like, this guy's got to be insane. He had, <laughs> he had a couple of business. He had a good cr- opportunity at Amazon. Why would you leave? Like, what's the... What's the reason why, Darren, you left Amazon and the security of that nine to five, that bonus, to go ahead and do something that is obscure right now and, and gonna gonna be fruitful? Don't get me wrong, but how do you make that leap? What is what is the reason why? Yeah, there's that, a you know what I mean? even a six figure um, corporate job. Um, but I did it because of the idea. Um, and I, those businesses had those, those previous businesses had to fail to learn, um, how to, how to manage through failure, how I learned a lot through those businesses, the network marketing business that I joined taught me everything I knew about social media. 
the the car rental business that um, I started and lasted two years taught me a lot of what I needed to know about cash flow. Um, there was also uh, an aspect in that business that because it was uh, it was Turo, if you've ever heard of that app, but it's like Airbnb mm-hmm. cars. Um, I didn't have complete control over marketing that. And I'm, I'm like, man, I need I need a business that I can have complete control of marketing. Um, so those lessons I realized, uh, were great for building my wisdom in order to, um, start this business. And like I said, keep going. Um, now when I quit the, uh, when, when I quit the corporate jobs, um, I felt capped. I felt, uh, restricted. Mm-hmm. I felt there was a ceiling. Um, and I felt like I wasn't reaching my full potential. Now, fast forward, you know, I, I left Amazon in February, 2024. Um, I'm still not at my full potential, but I'm not capped. There is no ceiling. And I'm super excited about this opportunity mm-hmm. and the vision, you know, to serve the nation by 2027. Um, that is what keeps me going. Um, I, I, I write that vision down and I read it every day. Um, Now, I don't know what's exciting about it, too, is that I I think I know what it's going to look like. Um, But as an entrepreneur, it kind of works out differently. As long as you keep going, Mm -hmm. um, things change. um, You adapt and you realize I'm serving the nation. It's 2027 and I'm serving the nation, but it's not how I envision. So uh, which is really exciting to me. You know what I mean? (laughs) Well, Um, I think this is an amazing lesson. Right. Each time you had a business opportunity, you learned from it. You didn't take it as a failure. You took it as a lesson and a step along the journey of keeping keeping yourself moving forward. And what I like about the mentality from now until 2027, when you are going to be this national brand serving the nation, the fluidity of your mindset is I don't know exactly how it's going to happen. I just know it's going to happen. And it's up to me being uncapped and unrestricted to make my full potential come to life. The, the mindset, Darren, is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So I want people to learn from this in that regardless of how hard you believe it is, no matter what struggles you're having, there are lessons that you can learn from. And when you learn something, all you got to do is apply it to the next ap- uh, opportunity. That's it, right? And in a case like yours, okay, I learned how to market because I was in a network marketing thing. I learned about cash flow because of this business. I learned about my emotional intelligence with another business. Okay, I'm ready to actually take this new business to a level no one thought possible. I think it's possible because I've learned what I needed to learn to make this possible. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a great summary there. And when you know, um, when you believe and when you have faith and when you know it's going to happen, um, that's what keeps you going every day. Yeah, no, I, I, I think you've got a solid mindset and, you know, belief, faith, mindset, those things are cornerstones. Honestly, they're cornerstones for setting yourself up for success as opposed to waiting for failure. It's, you, you can't think that way, right? And I'm going to go all the way back to you know, some of the commentary or comments you said before. Is there's a childlike mindset, no fear, just make it happen. But I have to warn people, don't be like a child and do something rash and irresponsible. Be like a child in that don't be afraid of, of doing something for the for the sake of failure. Just go ahead and try it. And in your case, you're doing that with this whole library of experiences, whether it's like you said, I learned how to market. I learned about cash flow. I learned about emotional intelligence. Like these are the things that you learned moving forward. It allows you to be set up for success here. It's It's awesome. And I, I, I can't wait to see what you do year by year because you definitely are somebody that's going to be on my radar. I'll, I'll be tracking what you're up against. This is cool. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's cool. Right, so if you were to go back in time and sit down on a park bench next to the 18-year-old Darren, what would you say to him? Shoot. Um, <laughs> you're uh, – so – 18 year old Darren was a corporate manager. Okay. He had, he had aspiring, um, 
he always aspired to be a corporate manager and a leader. Um, that 18 year old was working for someone else. I would say to that 18 year old, I'm kind of getting emotional thinking about it. Mm -hmm. You are going to be a CEO and a leader of your own company. Only if you apply yourself. So. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Now, now you know why I didn't tell you that's a question I always ask everybody. <laughs> right? I'll, yeah. Because yeah. it hits. It hits. Because most people, when they get on that, they try to give me their best. That's one of the best answers we've ever had is you're going to be this. Just apply yeah. yourself. Yep. And the mindset is the key to everything you've got going on. And I, I fully believe you're going to be unbelievably successful because this is such a cool idea. Right. Yeah, that's got, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, very rarely do, does somebody have that Uber mentality because this is, Literally, you you pick up your phone, you order gas, and a stranger shows up, right? But once you get to know that stranger, he's no longer a stranger. He's the guy that takes care of you. And then the relationship you build, you build with people is a lot more than, oh, here comes the fuel guy. It's, thank God he's here, <laughs> right? Because I want that full feeling in the morning when I start my car, I look down and the, the needle's on, on F. It's, it's a great feeling. It is. And, and you're the one that's bringing that to people's attention. You're the one that's doing it. I think it's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Any last words of wisdom or thoughts you'd love to have for the audience? Well, I can't wait to meet everyone. Um, that's it. It's exciting. So um, I'll see you in your driveway or at work. I love it. Thank you so much, Darren, for being on the show. And everybody, we'll see you next time on the Business Spotlight.